the more I got thinking about it, the more that I wanted to go. So despite the uh, video of saying that the rain and everything, it was too bad, I went anyway. And uh, we didn't find, I didn't find nothing, uh, a little bit of can slaw, but I got soaked. But something really weird happened on one of my uh, video clips. I think I picked up an EVP voice. I never had that happen on any of my videos. But the uh, the part of the video where I'm going to be swinging the machine and I'm in all metal mode and I'm trying to show you the numbers and the numbers were all over the board and uh, come find out it was a shotgun shell head stamp but that was weird. Usually it's pretty dedicated on that. But right at the end of that segment, when I'm about ready to pull away, at the end of my voice, something overlapped on the audio. And I can't make it out, but it wasn't my voice. It was something a little deeper. And that creeped me out after hearing it as I'm editing. Super crazy, dude. Y'all check it out. We didn't really find anything, but... We tried to make a temp and we got rained out. There is a condition out there that is shared by many a hardcore detectorists who are willing to brave the elements of nature just to bring you another adventure. It's called Digging Fever. Here we are again, folks. Clarksville Digger, coming to you live, in the rain, walking in the woods, you know this place, sitting there thinking about it, and uh, early this morning, I had put out a video recently, I was downplaying my desired attempt wanting to go metal detecting, the more I thought about it, the more I wanted to go. So here we are. My wife thinks I've lost my mind, and I'm starting to agree with her. We're going to get soaked. We're going to try and endure this as much as we can. Hey, they say the ground is conductive when after, after a good rain. So how about when it's raining? That should be even better, correct? Let's find out. There's that little spring I once showed you before. And in all metal mode, I really wanted to work this area right here. I kept thinking about it, maybe even up there a little bit. Just something about this kept drawing me. Y'all gonna probably witness me slipping and busting my butt. This spring's pretty cool. If all those leaves were out of it, hey, that looks like a turtle. Sure is. You see it? Is one cool spring. And this is all bedrock, too. That's solid rock going all the way down. Is that something or what? We're going to work this spot up here. We're going to see how much we can try to get done today. 
not promising anything. Let's see if I can make it back up the hill. When we began to start finding stuff, we'll come back to you and let you know. Working all metal mode. It's in the 30s or 70s. We're about uh, four inches down. It's probably jump, but it's a good signal. I mean, it's good and hard. I'm still expecting it to be trash. We're gonna see what we got now. Okay, another shotgun shell head stamp. That's uh, our Remington uh, UMC. Uh, see, UMC started 19 or uh, 1897. Uh, 1911 when they merged with Remington uh, and I think they went from 1911 to 1920 something maybe 1934 it's still it's old second head stamp In crazy weather wow rain's coming down harder Woo. let's get going had to go get me some more batteries. AT Max is sucking up the juice. But they were low yesterday. And I thought I hearing shots in the background. So I better go and get me a vest. Something that uh, somebody don't mistake me for food. Okay, let's get back to the machine. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're down here in the... In the in the water. Gotta hurt some. We're gonna go upstream. I've already ground balance. Where I'm at. That's solid rock, man. That is solid rock. We're gonna work this and we're gonna work our way back up to the spring. Just a couple of shotgun shell heads so far. We ain't through yet. We're wet, but we're, we're having fun. Okay, back in the garage again. You gotta give me credit. I tried. I tried to go out there and metal detect, try to find something cool. All I got was soaked soaked and more soaked <laughs> and I am cold all we found was can slaw pull tabs and uh, I mean it's nice I enjoy being out but weather's just it was terrible and when I was out there it even got worse but that little spring man that little creek a small little little brook that was cool wasn't it I didn't realize that thing was totally solid rock at least most of it we're gonna have to go down that thing one time just uh just to follow it see where it goes how does that sound we'll do some exploring because i'm really curious about that small little brook i like to know where it goes well didn't have no wrap up or nothing because it really wasn't nothing worthwhile to wrap up. Did find a couple of shotgun shell head stamps. Uh, one of them was a Remington UMC, so that was pretty old. Uh, that's from the 1911 to uh, I think 1934 or something like that. So that does show, you know, some some uh, age of the area. But uh, it was still fun. Uh, it was just a, a really, really short attempt. And the closer I got there, the more I realized I lost my mind. But I know my wife didn't thought I did. But that's just the way it goes with diggers, right? We gotta dig. Y'all have a blessed day and thank for watching. Joanne and I says bye. We'll see you again.